Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to go over setting up a custom log source in Amazon Security Lake. Amazon Security Lake, if you're not aware, delivers a purpose-built data lake for security use cases, so you can focus on analyzing security data rather than data wrangling. Security Lake helps you streamline the process of setting up a data lake in your environment for security logging using services such as Amazon S3, AWS Lake Formation, and AWS Glue, and importantly, runs in your account. Security Lake manages for you the initial setup of the data lake infrastructure across your AWS organization and regions. On the ingest side, Security Lake makes it extremely easy to get started, and in literally a few steps, you can start collecting critical security logs from AWS services such as CloudTrail, VPC flow logs, Route 53 DNS resolver logs, once again, across all your accounts, and all your regions in your AWS organization. You can also automatically get all your security findings from AWS services and over 50 partner security solutions integrated via Security Hub. You can bring your own data from third-party partners, from on-premise, from SaaS applications, host-based logs, other cloud providers, custom applications, or from anywhere else you would like. In this video, we're going to show you a solution we created to collect Windows event data from a Windows server on an Amazon EC2 instance using the Microsoft Systems Monitor as the custom source. In this pre-built solution we'll walk through, we're using a CloudWatch agent to collect logs from the Windows server, sending them to CloudWatch logs, and using a subscription filter to send logs to Amazon Kinesis data firehouse. From there, we're using AWS Lambda to extract, transform, and log the logs from XML to OCSF, or the Open Cybersecurity Schema format, and use Kinesis Data Firehose to convert the logs from GSIP, Parquet, with dynamic partitioning, partitioning enabled, and then putting these files into the Amazon Security Lake S3 bucket. So next, from here, let's jump into the console to show you how we create the custom source in Amazon Security Lake walk through the S3 partitioning, and finally, query our custom data using Athena. As you can see, we're in the Security Lake console on the summary page. This is my delegate administrator account for Security Lake that we're gonna work out of for this demonstration. So let's start out by clicking on custom sources on the left navigation panel. In this environment, we currently have a custom source that I pre-built for this demo to save time using the workflow that I described earlier. We will look at that in a minute, but. For this demonstration part, imagine we're creating a custom source from scratch and we'll see what it's like to set that up. So let's click on create custom source. First, we need to give our custom source a name, so we'll call it demo. We need to select our OCSF event class. We'll scroll down and click Windows resource activity. We'll scroll down and next we need to give it an account ID that has permissions to write data to this custom source. And then lastly, we need to either let Security Lake create a new service role on our behalf or use an existing service role. And this is permissions to invoke AWS Glue on your behalf. Keep in mind when we create this custom source in Security Lake, Security Lake does a few things for us. Creates an AWS Lake formation table to organize objects that the source writes to Security Lake. Sets up an AWS Glue crawler to partition your security data. The crawler populates the AWS Glue data catalog with the table. It also automatically discovers new source data and extracts schema definitions, provides a unique prefix for the source in your Amazon S3 bucket, and creates this role. So let's go ahead and click Create. And we'll wait a second while our custom source creation is in progress. All right, so now that we saw how to create a new custom source, and we can see we have our new custom source in the Security Lake console, we can see the data that was delivered using the architecture that we showed earlier to put OCSF formatted Parquet files into this new S3 location. Okay, so now we're in the S3 console, and we can see we have a couple different folders in our Security Lake S3 bucket. 
we can see one labeled AWS, which starts the folder structure for our AWS logs, and one labeled EXT, that starts the folder structure for our partner and custom sources. We can click down through the structure and see how Security Lake has created the partitioning for each log source. So let's click down through the external and we'll click on our Sysmon custom source. And we can see it's partitioned by region and count ID and time and we can see the files associated with this. We can see that it's partitioned based on a few different fields, account ID, region, time, and from here, let's jump into the Athena console and look at what it's like to actually query this data using Amazon Athena. Okay, now we're in the Athena console and we're gonna query our Amazon Security Lake data. Keep in mind, in your environment, you have the freedom to choose what analytics platform you use to run analytics on your data stored in Security Lake. But to show a quick demo validating the ability to query our custom data, we're gonna use Athena to make things simple. To look at this data, we're really gonna run two simple queries. The first, we're just gonna preview this table and look at the data. As you can see, we're just looking at the last 10 entries in this table. After our query runs, we can see the results and we can see the different fields that are associated with this and we can scroll over and see all the different fields associated with this data and even the raw data associated with the event. If we jump into our second query, we can get a little bit more specific. So this query looks for event ID, Windows event ID 22, which is associated with a DNS query. But for this, we don't want to match the process ID of 4860. So if we run this one, and we wait a few seconds for Athena to query this data, we can see that we have 4,349 results associated with this type of activity. And once again, we can see when these events were created, we can see that the activity name aligns with that event ID 22, and we can see all the data associated with querying these logs that are being stored in Amazon Security Lake using that OCSF format. Thanks everyone for watching this video on creating a custom source in Amazon Security Lake and then querying that custom source with Amazon Athena. If you want to learn more about Amazon Security Lake, please visit aws.amazon.com forward slash security dash lake.